So guys, at the beginning of 2023, I was looking up salaries for tech jobs that exist out there and which ones had the highest salary. Show me the money. And I came across a role of a prompt engineer and I was like, what is a prompt engineer? Well, it was a role that I'm going to talk about in this video today. But the thing that caught my eye was the fact that these guys were getting paid a whopping $300,000 a year. Damn! Like, what is it that these guys do to make $300,000 a year? So guys, I'm going to talk to you about the role of a prompt engineer. What is it that they do? How to become a prompt engineer? The salaries that these guys are making all in this video today. So if you want to learn this information, stick around for the entire video. I am Antoine Way and I run the Black Heights channel. Guys, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you like this sort of content make sure you hit the like button now let's get to the video if you guys were to scour the internet and look up videos of what prompt engineers do they sell it really well i mean like they wake up at about 11 a.m they get on the computer and type a whole bunch of prompts and make sure that the people who they're typing in these prompts for are getting the correct answers that sounds like a pretty wonderful job especially if you are earning hundreds of thousands of dollars and some people are earning millions of dollars right well if you ever wondered how a few minutes of typing prompts can lead to earning millions of dollars then you want to watch this video because in a world dominated by artificial intelligence the role of a prompt engineer has emerged as the pivotal link between humans and a machine's response now let me explain what a prompt engineer does just pretend that you are a leader of a robot band right a robot band awesome you get to tell each robot how to play so that they make nice music. Well, that is exactly what a prompt engineer does. They do something very similar with robot talk like chat GPT-3 and chat GPT-4, making it answer questions in a smart and understandable way. And you could think of them like this, just as a chef combines ingredients to create really good dishes. I'm a fish and pork and beef guy, right? And chicken. I like chicken as well too. But a prompt engineer will craft prompts to make AI models serve up insightful answers. So why are prompt engineers so important? Well, they are very important because they improve the customer experience. They enhance the human and AI interaction and helps build a better conversational AI system. Now let's talk about the salaries that these guys are being paid because articles are out there where these guys are making $300,000 a year, $500,000 a year, up to a million being paid by some large tech companies, right? Well, I did some research and the reality of it is, is that yes, when the role of prompt engineer first came out in late 2022, when AI was just starting to come on in early 2023, companies were paying prompt engineers that amount of money but the reality of it is now based on the research that i've done that these guys are being paid anywhere from one hundred and twenty thousand dollars all the way up to three hundred thousand dollars a year which is a fantastic salary now i want to talk about the skills that you need to become a prompt engineer and the first skill is domain specific knowledge let me give you an example right if you are a supply chain expert and you are working with ai models you have to have a good understanding of supply chains right so when you are using ai tools or ai chatbots and you're writing prompts you have to have a good understanding of the supply chain industry so that you can type the right information in and also help to get the right information out the same exact thing as far as healthcare and finance you have to have some domain experience for the area that you want to be a prompt engineer for. You also have to be proficient in coding because coding helps craft effective prompts and analyze AI output. So many of the prompt engineers come from consulting backgrounds or backgrounds where they had to do a lot of writing or do a lot of research. You also want to have a good understanding of machine learning basics you also need to have an ability to communicate effectively using the appropriate grammar and also be a logical thinker and have the ability to solve problems so how do you get started 
well, you want to gain expertise in a specific domain. If you are interested into the healthcare and AI and how AI can benefit the healthcare industry, then you want to have expertise in the healthcare domain. You also want to learn coding languages like Python and understand machine learning concepts and study AI models like ChatGPT3 and ChatGPT4, Google Bard, and understand what their capabilities are and then practice crafting prompts and refining AI responses. And the demand for prompt engineers are going to continue to go up because as AI permeates various sectors, the need for skilled prompt engineers are going to continue to rise, ensuring that the AI chatbot speaks to the language of that industry accurately. And here's an interesting fact about ChatGPT, which I use quite often. ChatGPT3 is one of the most advanced AI language models currently available. And it was trained using a data set of over 570 gigabytes of text, including diverse range of internet content, books, and articles. And the large and diverse training data set is one of the key factors that enables ChatGPT3 to generate highly coherent in human text. And from my research, prompt engineers are pretty satisfied within their career because their satisfaction comes from witnessing how AI systems evolve under guidance. But the challenge of keeping up with evolving technology can be demanding. Now I wanna give you some of the pros and cons of becoming a prompt engineer. Well, some of the pros are this, high earning potential, right? They can make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, some companies will pay even more than that, up to millions is what I'm seeing on the internet. Also the opportunity to shape how artificial intelligence impact various industries. And not only that, you'll always be continue to, you know, stay up to date on the latest and greatest trends and continuous learning in such a dynamic field such as artificial intelligence, which is here to stay in my opinion. And here are some of the cons. Well, the cons are that it requires a blend of technical and domain specific skills because you have to understand how to communicate in a specific industry such as healthcare or supply chain or finance and so forth. Also the pressure to produce accurate AI outputs because there's so much language that goes into the AI model. So you have to be able to ask it the right questions in order for you to get the right outputs back. And not only that, the possibility of the job evolution due to, you know, the changing AI landscape. We don't know what it's going to look like in year two, right? Year three and four. So it's just the possibilities of how this is going to morph into something else. And what I've also found out is that as you are more senior in your prompt engineer career, you don't want to become a prompt engineer standing in in front of your computer typing prompts to AI systems, you can become a consultant, right? Collaborating with people in different industries like healthcare, technology, supply chain, finance, to really help with the AI interactions without actually having to type in the prompts and so forth. So there's a lot of upside if you become a prompt engineer to move on to something even better, such as a consultant. So to sum this up, being a prompt engineer involves bridging human understanding and AI capabilities. And as AI continues to develop, this role will stay crucial, providing an opportunity for those who embrace it to shape the future of human machine communication. And I really do think that AI is here to stay. I talked about that in previous videos. AI is important. And if you're not using AI, I say this AI will be using you, meaning that it will be taken away from you. <laughs> because other people will leverage it as a helper, right? That's what I like to say. People will use it as a helper, giving themselves many opportunities to surpass people who aren't leveraging AI because it can do so much and allow for you to be more efficient, which also allows for you to make more money, which also allows for you to save time, right? So guys, leverage tools like ChatGPT and Google Bard and some of the other ones that I have talked about in this video that I'll link up here. It is a must that we leverage AI, otherwise AI will leverage us. That's what I will say. Guys, if you like this sort of content, make sure you hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button 
in the notification bell so that you can get access to this new and dope content. Guys, right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And until next time, y'all. Peace.